it's 2024, we're at Wilton Mill, it's the Rotax and Honda O plate, we're back. It's the Paddock Show with me and Andrew Mather. Andrew, 220 drivers, bit of mud, mm -hmm. but the weather's been great and the racing has been even better. What more could you want from an Easter weekend? An Easter egg. An with Easter egg, That's I've got some, the big ones oh. at home. Um, but yes, no, Paddock Show, Saturday night, it's a bit chilly, but it's been dry. That's well, been see, I was sensible. It's not often you only say that. I got the long sleeves, the gelée. Now, all the top drivers are here, the top drivers, the top teams. But if you look around the, the vista here at Wilton Mill, it's a bit muddy, but we're in with the privateers, the heart and soul of karting, the lifeblood of karting, the, the, the drivers, the, the families that travel up and down the country week after week after week with a van a generator, an easy up awning, and a really scruffy CRG cap. Let's speak to one of our privateers, Ethan Ling, come this way. Now, Ethan is obviously an excellent driver because he started his career at Landau International, International Raceway, Sorry. global home of champions, world capital of motorsport. How are you, Ethan? Yeah, I'm all right. Yeah, well, there we go. And moving on, no. <laughs> um, so you've got your dad, Steve, there. Mechanic Steve, uh, you're on one of three CRGs uh, in the entire field. What's it like? Okay, you, you, you race at PFI, you've raced at PFI club events, you've raced here. What's it like being a privateer against all the big teams down there? I suppose it's more of the. What's the word I'm looking for? Challenge? Satisfac satisfaction yeah. of beating the bigger teams when you can, obviously. Um, you know, turn up in a like you said in a van my dad is my mechanic uh, sorry <laughs> I know yeah. <laughs> um, and then you got all the big teams here with all their computers you know they've got driver coaches nutrition coaches ev ev you name it they got it now and we turn up in a van with a, with a, cart, with a cart with a cart that's actually four years old now and wow. we can still sort of keep up to them 13th I think Andrew in in one of the heats was that right? You were thirteenth. It would it would have been thirteenth if I didn't get a nose cone penalty because of because of brake checking and defending. Shows he's trying. Shows he's trying. Yeah. Um, and you know, there is a mechanic. That is that is Steve Steve uh, Ethan's dad. You know, what's what's life like as a, a privateer? dad and mechanic when you're putting the cart down and obviously Ethan's got expectations but you've learned over time to temper those expectations have you you have to be realistic what's yeah. it like um we've come to this time now and realized that we're we're never going to beat the top top teams we haven't got the obviously the equipment anything like that but as Ethan says it's nice just to come here put it down and put us in the mix yeah. you know and then to people that it's nice to have teams look at you and go oh do you know what well how are they up there when we haven't got the funding we haven't got the money to be in a big team but to be honest i enjoy it as being a privateer it's i think it's more fun you get more satisfaction out of it um you know yes we could spend more money if we wanted to borrow more money and things like that but why why we're doing it the cat is supposed to be fun um, you know, we're not, there's no expectation to go to Formula One or anything like that. Um, the dream is just, this is fun. It, uh, Ethan has Asperger's, which sort of doesn't hinder him, but this is this puts yeah. him in an equal opportunity with other people out there. And you can put it on the cart and he's like everyone else. And he's some better than other people at some of it. So that's, that's why he's, that we do it. You raise a really good point. And I know we've got a lot of ground to cover. But it is very important. I've known this young man since he first ever got into a cart at Landau. And he is right, you know, you've, you, you've got Asperger's. You are one of the best ambassadors for anybody on the spectrum, you know, for how to, you know, get through life, how to have a better understanding and cope with life better through karting. How has it helped you? Um. Because, because five years ago, you would have seen the camera and gone that way. Ten years ago, you would have gone that way. But yet here you are, you know, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm personally, I'm really proud of, of everything you've done and achieved. And there are a lot of other drivers out there who you are know, racing with autism, you know, it's a big thing. And, and I've got to say, this man here is an inspiration to a lot of people. It's like my dad said, really, it's just, 
I I shared the same interests as some other people out there. Obviously, we want we want to win. We want we like driving yeah. carts that are literally millimeters to the floor. We like that. Yeah. We like that sort of aspect. And obviously, yeah. in that sense, I don't really feel any different. No. In that sense, um, yeah. yeah. Happy much, days. Yeah. Right. Best of luck. We got Thank plenty you. of other drivers to speak to. Ethan Ling, number seventy six, CRG Sydney Road Tax. If you're looking for an underdog to cheer for, here's your man. Okay. Absolutely. Andrew, sorry, I've hijacked. No, 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 I, no. It's I, very I, great we're to hear this from this week. Uh, There's more privateers. Thank you, Steve. Thank you, Ethan. Yeah, yeah. As, as you say, Henry, racing for many years, a four-year yeah. chassis as well. That just yeah. shows again, you know, it, the, the, money does talk in this sport yeah, of time, it does, but it, it does. doesn't necessarily mean Cam-Man's to come out and going and compete. to avoid the mud. Oh, well done, well done. Yeah, professionally done. If it was James still doing the camera, I was letting him walk through the mud. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's, it's that thing of, of you can come in and compete, and if you've yes. got the talent, which Ethan quite clearly has, you know, we've both watched him race for many a year. Absolutely. We'll go um, this way, because we'll we'll there's way. a car that but way. We're, we're, out in the along. we're out, we're out in, the, in, the, in the back end of the paddock, because, yeah, this event, tomorrow, the likelihood is, now you did a paddock show last night. Yes. The, 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 the vast likelihood of the end result of this weekend is the winners are going to come from that part of the paddock. Yeah. However, the, the love for the sport, it's down there, but it's up here as well. Um, you know, we've, we've got, and, and, and there's people, not everyone's rushing off to the hotels. I mean, it's too cold for a barbecue. There's a driver running away there. But, you know, Quite you've literally. got the campers. You've got, you know, the camaraderie. Yeah, it, it, th this, is, this is what the sport is all about. Now, it's getting late. Let's have a little walk down to the LM Motorsport race team. Mm. We'll have a little wander down there. But again, you, you know, this is, you know, this goes back to when I was racing, you know, you had a van, you had an easy up awning out the side, you know, you had a bit of equipment, you may do with your little kettle and microwaves, you know, there we go, that, is, is that, uh, well, I'll, 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 I'll hijack this person here, is it Jensen get him Walker? off his phone, this, get him off his phone, oh, right, nice. with Jensen Walker, with the, with, yes. the, with the cutting edge racing team, it's good to see that name do back, do you like it, <laughs> do you like it? Yeah, we were talking about the life as a privateer. I mean, right, okay. this this is this is home, and the workshop. And the workshop, yes, yes. This. Does it make karting more fun doing it like this, even though it's a cha more of a challenge? To be fair, I do prefer to be in an awning and with a team, but it's just the way it's worked out this week. It just hasn't been possible. But to be fair, it's it's not it's not too bad. It's yeah. not too bad. It's okay. Who's, who's doing the cooking? Uh, can you smell the sausages? <laughs> uh, <laughs> so if Jensen Walker's not out tomorrow, it's because the sausages weren't quite done. Ah. But I love this, I love this. This is, uh, this is what it's all about. That's the dream. That's the dream. <laughs> and we're all living we're all the dream. Living, we're yeah. all living the, it, dream. We're all the dream. There we go. Thank you, sir. That's all right. Thank you very much. Enjoy the sausages. I will do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, briefly got waylaid there. But again, that's uh, again. You've got a little bit of graphics on your van. Mm -hmm. You know, easy up morning. You got kettle, microwave, kitchen. You know, beds in the back. Put the cart and everything. In. It's just, it's just fantastic. Now all oh, the lights are off. The lights are off, but there are people home. Right, let's go fight, fight that driver. Let's go, go find a driver. Go, go, go. Let's introduce it here. What's your name? Which class are you racing in? And I'm Mike uh, Blair Smith. Blair Smith. So you're, so you're our Blair Smith, the privateer. Uh, how many hours did it take you to drive here this weekend from Scotland? I don't know. You don't know. It's that big a number you don't even know. Uh, you race out of Lark Hall, don't you? Yeah. You? Uh, how do you find Wilson Mill as, as a circuit? Is he, is he first time here? Have you raced here before? Uh, I've done UKC last year. And then going in, into the to the O plate this weekend, how, how did uh, how did your heats go today? Uh, my heats went well and hopefully I can make it to the final tomorrow. And that A final, they're getting into that top 34. What would what would be a what would be a good result? What would you be happy with this weekend? Uh, top 20 or top 30. What is it like racing up uh, up, up against these <laughs> these big teams as well as, as a privateer? You, you're having a great weekend. You're clearly competitive out there. Are you enjoying how the racing is going so far this weekend? Yeah. And this circuit as well, obviously the changes. What do you think about that that last that last section? Is that a ty is that a place where you you find in some time? Is it good for you? Um, it's it's a little tricky. If you get it wrong, you, it's costing you because it's flinging you out wide. But if you get it right, it's like a second. You can find you can find a couple of tenths in it at least. Good stuff. You hoping to do uh, more racing the rest of the season? Yeah. 
Oh, good stuff. Hopefully, we'll uh, we'll see you again soon, Blair. Great to uh, great to hear from you there. As I say, all the way from Scotland, from Lark yes. Hall. Lark Hall. Hello, Lark Hall. From Coke Bridge. Charlie Cox. Oh, Charlie oh, Cox. That's that's Blair Smith. That's, that's Coke that Bridge. Blair Smith. Blair, 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 right. Blair Smith. Okay. Yeah. Is there only one Charlie Cox from Coles Racing? Charlie, uh, very quickly, sum up your day. Uh, decent overall. Uh, we've had, what is it, 10th and 5th. Then so, not too bad. Not too bad. Do you know where you put that puts you for your super heat? Uh, yeah, 8th. 8th for the super heat. Very well done. For the Coles Racing, more importantly, who's that? Uh, that's, that's dad. Ah, because because dad dad was dad was making fun of you and then so, so, don't worry. We'll, <laughs> and who was and who's who's up? Who, who, who? That's that's mechanic. Ben the mechanic. Oh, I know Ben the mechanic. Come in, Ben the mechanic. Right, we'll quickly talk. Hi, oh, Ben the mechanic. Hello. Uh, right, we're going to quickly talk about uh, how you how you somehow managed to work miracles and get this lunatic into eighth for his superheat. Well, honestly, I think he just woke up on the right side of bed. <laughs> Simply put, I think he was, you know, fast all last weekend when we were testing. Um, pretty fast yesterday, but a couple of setup issues and ironed those out, good feedback, and here we are. Bit so, of luck. So all the money that's spent in karting and all it boils down to is making sure you go to bed on time. Uh, I'm not very good at that one. <laughs> <laughs> Shocking. Thank you very much. Have a good day. Right, we'll, we'll move swiftly on because they've all got dinner tape, dinners to go to. Um, a quick recap while we wait we'll go down to the next morning. Uh, we'll move across, we'll, we'll hang a left and then a right. Uh, a recap of the day. Any drivers that particularly impressed you? Finley Lines, I'm going to yeah. take as number one. Finley Lines, two wins by five seconds yes. over eight minutes. Yeah. So it, yes, there was a, a big fight for second, third, fourth behind, but the way that Finley was able to take charge of those races early on and go, yes. I'm driving off the front here. Yep. You can all fight for second, third and fourth, ladies Absolutely. and gentlemen, behind. I'm taking my zero points and, uh, and putting myself in a very strong position before the day. I think Jacob Ashcroft as well, yes. stepping up to juniors. Well, that uh, looking yeah, zip, with a good, we? uh, good amount of backing, very yes. strong uh, pedigree from previous years as well. But we talked about it in the, in the broadcast, didn't we? That step now with the chassis change is bigger than ever when you go from that interclass to that junior. So yeah, very impressed yes. from Jake. So of course, you're now, unfortunately, we're on the wrong side. We're on the wrong side. New face, same position. Uh, from that, from, this is uh, we're not, this is not being cruel. From the have-nots to the haves. This is not that's not about the drivers, but this is this is how this is the teams. These are the teams workbenches, a very different uh, kettle of fish. We're in with Zip Lorenzo Cordal. You look absolutely thrilled to about to be interviewed is that because you're de is is lorenzo he's come you've got to come come back lorenzo oh, we've got two we've got two uh, he's not about to be interviewed <laughs> why why is lorenzo so reluctant to be interviewed you've got the and the the, uh, the lasers out on the car which normally tells a story what's happened without swearing just a bad day. <laughs> just a, just a yeah. bad day. Just a bad day. Oh, fair enough. Um, this is what chassis is this, by the way? L LM. It's a Land and Norris, so it's an OTK chassis, but obviously it's the the Zip product. Um, it has it all. But, but for the, some of the other Zip drivers, it's gone quite well, hasn't it? We'll speak yeah. to a couple down there. Yeah, we'll speak think, to, yeah, to a couple a, of our. I think we've got a couple of our Micro Maxes over here. I think we've had our us. first. I, that was our first complete refusal to be on the paddock show from I think the Renzo Cordell. Yeah, there we go, there we go. Right, take it away. We've Who got our Michael Rockers, Benedictus Masiokas, if I remember that correctly. Uh, ben, how, how's today gone? Um, terribly wrong. <laughs> terribly wrong? <laughs> what happened out there? Um, so, the setup wasn't really good, and then I got up to like 26. The set? 23rd. Up to, up, to, up to 25th. Henry, the, the setup apparently wasn't good enough. Who do we think? Should we ask who, uh, whose fault that was? Earl. Blame Earl. Was we'll, it Earl? We'll blame Earl. Last weekend, you were very good. No, we're not going to. We're not going to blame Earl. Uh, it's one of those things, isn't it? Sometimes you can come to a, a race and not have the setup, but then an event so competitive, if you miss the setup by a little bit, you're right at the back, aren't you? Is that something that you're learning as a driver? That you'll go to different types of meetings and then the really big meetings, you just suddenly you've got to be inch perfect from the word go. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what about you? Is, is it we're going to we're gonna have to introduce ourselves in here for the for the folks back home. What's your name? And what's your number? Alfie Mayor, fifteen Micromax. So Alfie, you, I think you're right. So you've had some you had decent races today coming through through the field, or is or is it been a bit of a a bit of a mixed day? It's been a real mixed day. In qualifying, I got 11th, the same as where I started on the grid. Uh, in the first two, which was I only hit today, my engine would start, so I, I had to. I I got out on the formation lap, and then uh, no, 
and then the person at the front of the crowd never said to me I'm not allowed to regain my position so I regained my positions at, by the end I got I got like ninth and then I got disqualified after the race so it wasn't very well that's, that's really unfortunate you've, you've driven this circuit quite a lot before you know you've actually been, I've, you raced for quite a few years, haven't you? How, how are you finding the Micro Max this year? Is it for, uh, is it a good fun car to drive? Yeah, and with the new regs and tyres, it's made the field a lot more closer than last year. We've got uh, another race tomorrow morning, if I'm uh, not mistaken. How are you feeling ahead of uh, ahead of that one? Uh, I'm feeling confident and hoping I can win the next one. But you know you're going to make the final as well. Does, does that kind of make you a bit more relaxed knowing that you're going to race all the way through to the final on Sunday? Uh, it makes me a little bit more relaxed but at the same time it makes me nervous because you're thinking about where you're going to finish in the final and it makes you more and more nervous. Really good answers. Yeah, yeah. I was going to say, I, I interviewed you last weekend uh, at Glanagos and you gave an excellent answer there. Last weekend you were uh, dominated, the pair of you, on a full grid of Honda Cadets. This weekend, it just goes to show how you know competitive it is. But last weekend, you had Josh Cook and Jade Edwards in the awning, two British touring car drivers. Does that help? Now you've only got Earl. Is that good having those guys in the awning? Uh, I mean, it helps a little bit, although they was kind of helping LBJ Studs more than those Cook, because uh, his parents asked them to, but it still helped us quite a bit. Excellent. Good stuff. It, one, one good thing, it can only get better tomorrow. Right, it can only get better tomorrow. We'll leave the happy, smiling faces at the zip morning. Mm -hmm. Yeah, again, you've just, you, know, you have good days, you have bad days. It's got a bit dark, but we wanted to go to see Jax, didn't we? The new yes. Jax Project One Alliance. Alignment. Yeah, Alliance. I, I, it's, uh, it's, it's a new initiative, obviously, Jax Motorsport, Project One. They've been around for a very long time. Um, uh, uh, yeah. our thoughts go around to, to Project One for... Hello um, to Maria and the family. Everyone. Yeah, we miss Gerard a lot. Um, and we'll have a look in here, but uh, yes. But this, 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 uh, this was announced earlier on this week that we've got this new partnership. Uh, hopefully, Jack is around. Is Jack, is, is Jack around? Right. Is well, uh, we won't, ah, there we won't he is. catch Here's Charlie Dad, the fact. No, no, I'm joking. Um, <laughs> Jack, step oh, on in if, uh, if it's all right for uh, for a moment. Um, it's very much coming together, the new P1 racing group. Um, both teams with a, with a lot of history uh, in different categories. We'll just let Jack finish for a moment uh, and see how he's uh, how he's getting on. Jack, are we all right to uh, chat for a minute? New partnership. Tell us all about it. Um, well, obviously my background before was with Gerard back at Project One as a young kid. Shame obviously in passing, great guy to the sport, um, done a lot for us, for us kids back in the day when there was the likes of Foster Jones, Rob Browning, them kind of people, Dan Holland, yeah all them guys, real family community. Um, like I say, a big place lost in this paddock, Gerard. Um, Piers obviously is working super hard back at Ranch, pushing a cadet car at the 950. Um, but the national team takes quite a lot of time and effort. We're obviously already established doing these meetings and we joint venture. Dean obviously, who run Project One, does a great job come with us um, going forward. So yeah, it's, it's going to be really good. So the idea is that, that the Project One side of, of the group, they'll take care of the, the club racing and then kind of give them that ladder within your group to elevate them up to the national level? Yeah, correct. So Project One Racing is now Project One Racing Group. Mm -hmm. Piers and Maria working very hard back at Ranch, like I say, pushing that along. Um, Piers is obviously going to focus on the carts and we've joined Merge together and we're going to take the drivers the national way. I want to just say one one other thing about Gerard Cox. Uh, when we used when I used to work at Landau, uh, we had the Welsh Championships every year. Gerard would always turn up with a couple of drivers, cadet drivers, because Cadet Honda was really good. We would always be having a raffle, a small club. It's gone now to raise money, and he would always come down with a crash helmet, a plain white crash helmet as a prize, and he just put hundred pounds in the thing, you know every single year for the five six years you know and the fact that uh, you know it was 
his service. He had, uh, it's the only time a, a driver's ever been asked to put their crash helmets, you know, and that was, uh, you know, very, very, very t touching, very touching indeed. We did a paddock show here at the end of the year. We, we closed it out with Gerard because mm. the, 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 the Project One team, the drivers all stay. You know, as a, a as a testament a to Gerard, the way he manages things and things like that. And Gerard, you know, always was there. We just said, you know, he said, "Oh, be nice, be kind." You know, loyalty goes a long way. And uh, even though Gerard's gone, you know, the loyalty of an ex-driver uh, and the family aspect of it. So best of luck. Cheers, right. Absolutely. And on that, you know, you know, unfortunately, for, hey, it's a it's a horrible thing. You know, Paddock Show's supposed to be happy and joyful, but you know. It, we are a family and you know when you lose a, a member anyway uh, good luck Jack he's, he's, he's gonna try and learn how to span a cart now that's a problem <laughs> he's only right now it's getting dark ah uh, I, I spot a little man there from Ambition Motorsport Paul James <laughs> Paul James Paul James Emery the Welsh wizard how are we all right? I'm all right I'm all right hello oh we're gonna ah right this is gonna be good we're gonna stand here now no uh, no 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 this is the paddock show this is the oh it's only the Ambition team right <laughs> Paul Come this way, come this way. We <laughs> right, we're doing an interview. How are you, sir? Absolutely no swearing. gorgeous. Oh, are you? I'm, I'm, no, that's nice. Uh, how was your day? You're a, you're a Micromax driver, I think. Absolutely fantastic. Excellent, excellent. How many times did uh, uh, Paul's drivers put it in the wall? Paul who? Yeah, exactly, exactly. We'll speak to uh, Ambition Motorsport. A couple of years ago in the British Championship, Ambition were top of the tree in Honda Cadet. Took a step back, club level. Now we see you back in force this year, Paul. Yeah, we've returned. We've missed you so much, Henry. It's unreal. Like, <laughs> it's just, you're just a barrel of laughs. That's the 20 quid on your own. No, it's, it's good to be back, to be fair. Like, we brought um, our Honda team back. Yep. Uh, that's really, obviously, come back into force with the 200 engine mm -hmm. um, it's been a lot fairer now from before um, that's a question that, okay it's a good question yeah a good question from GX 160 being you know the all con you know masses and masses of carts brought the 200 in last year the British Championship there were that many he's getting a bit is it better for the class as a whole and I think the it's competitors totally better for the whole carting community we need that um, that feeder class for all the other classes and you always find the better drivers come from me, Henry. And go on, what's from, from there? I'm from, I do be from Honda, but yeah, you know, no, you are right. I mean, you, no, you look at it. Uh, Josh, Josh Graham, Jensen Graham, you and Charman, to name but three in the last couple of years that have come through the Paul Jeans Academy. Um, it's don't only, forget the, the it's Craig, only don't so forget, Don't forget the Craigie. Don't forget, and Kenzo Craig, yeah. Okay. <laughs> the only reason they're so good is because Paul is so little, he can still fit in the Hondas to test drive them. Eye to eye, isn't it? That's the main thing. <laughs> That's the main thing. Uh, big up the Bayford Meadow Massive as well. Right, yep. thank you, Paul. Thank you, guys. See you later. Ah, sorry about that. There we go. <laughs> Paul, Paul James, Ambition Motorsport, everybody. Uh, you're absolutely right there in terms of, uh, of Honda B. We talked about it earlier on the, on the broadcast, didn't we? Of the racecraft, the yes. momentum. You know, it, it's a different kind of racing that prepares the drivers very well for the future. And yeah, it's, it's good to see. We'd like numbers to be. We'd love thirty. A full grid of thirty-four of them on the grid, wouldn't we? But but but, but, but also, but also, you know, you have got a situation where that's Paul J. That's it's characters. Yeah. You know, Honda. It has those characters. Project One always. Gerard Cox, Paul James. You know, all these Hondas. Zip. You know, Earl and Roger. Now in here, I doubt she's here. She's gone home. The only person. <gasps> Adam Wooden's mechanic. I th ah. we, we, we're going we're gonna to end this paddock show because we've only got a couple of minutes left, haven't yep. we? Look at this. All the KR Sport drivers have gone. All the mechanics have gone. It's like a ghost town. I want to say Naomi Garcia here uh, from China, but look at this. One solitary mechanic. Now, this tells me one of two things. Number one, he's a very good mechanic, meticulous in his details, or number two, his driver smashed it up in the last heat and broke a wagon. Let's ask the man himself. Good evening, sir. Kai Clark's mechanic. Why are we here so late when everybody else, the entire awning is gone? Uh, I, well, I did choose to stay here on my own. It's not like everyone's just left me. It's more of a case of uh, I just probably had a little bit more work to do than anyone else. Not for anyone else's fault. Just I just wanted to do a few things that I didn't really need to do, but I'm just here. I only live close, so I don't really mind staying here. I mean, oh, it's, it's an important question. Okay, so you see the the action on the track. You, we do the paddock show, and yeah, we're laughing and we're joking around and stuff like that. We we make I I make fun of the karting mechanics. 
when you look at this guy, quite rightly so. Um, no, but, <laughs> but the reality is, Andrew, they work incredibly hard. Yes. And even though, so Kai Clark, well, he had a penalty in his last race. Where, how, did he, how did Kai finish today? Um, yeah, he was good. Those couple of penalties didn't help, but it's just the experience. He's just moved up from Minimax, so uh, into, the, into the juniors. He's doing really well with the speed, like the control of the cart and things. He's really good with all that. Just, uh, just the experience with the racecraft more than anything, I'd say. But he's, he's definitely getting there. He's good. Now, without, without giving away any secrets, you said there was a few things that you didn't have to do the you choose to. What are, what, as, as a general thing, so what needs to be done to the cart tonight? The cart came back in one piece from the last race. Yeah. What needs to be done and what are you going through to do that's going to be here long after everyone else has gone? Um, you don't have to give too much away, uh, but you know. Every, every night we always like take the fuel tank out, clean it as much as we can, um, take the engine off, things like that. Uh, take the batteries off to charge, all that. That's quite a quick process, but then like most of us take the axles out most nights. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm sort of on with now. And cleaning everything, it looks absolutely spotless. Thank you. Yeah. I do try. Yeah, and that, and that's, the th that's the key thing, I think, you know, uh, you know it's, it's late night, it's Easter weekend, you're going to lose an hour's sleep, you're going to watch us during the lunch break tomorrow. Kai Clark, if Kai Clark is doing well in his super heat, and in the final, it's because the mechanic has spent the extra hours tonight meticulously going through almost every nut and bolt, and that's the level of preparation you need. One more question that we haven't done. We talked about this earlier on the oh. broadcast, Joe. The um, the new last corner has has that influence set up a lot for it um, compared to last year, or is it still about the same? Not massively. I mean, everyone's trying to gain that extra little bit. It's made us think about it a lot more. That's for sure. So. Uh, I think we've done a decent job getting on top of it, really, as a team. We were quite good last weekend at the pre-round. And then, yeah, we've sort of tried to carry it forward as best we can into this, this meeting as well. But it's all different. There's more people here. Like, the, the top standard of the drivers that you'd expect to be here are all here. So, yeah, it, it has slightly changed, we think, but not, not a ridiculous amount. It's not been, like, it's not changed the world. Are no. you... you are their chassis getting any more damage going over that curve at the last uh, the last corner? Because we've seen them getting all four wheels off the ground. Not, yeah, again, not massively. This place is quite bumpy anyway. You yeah. use the curves as best you can. Um, it, it does, you know, make us check it a little bit more. We have the cart jig to check yep. that they're all straight after, uh, every, after race. Yeah. every every day, really. We do it unless you have a crash. So, yeah, we've been on that, but it's not, it's not a huge amount. Nothing that we expect to see different from like PFI, yep. you know, where you're using a lot of curbs on, on that same left hand side. Thank you very much. Okay, that's, that's, that's right. a question answered. So, we've had, a, we've had a wonderful day of racing. The noise, the action, the colour is spectacular. Mm -hmm. Now, Wilton Mill falls quiet. All you can hear is the clink, clink, clink of one or two spanners fettling and finding that extra tenth, that extra hundredth that could see one of these drivers crown British Open champion tomorrow. It's been a fantastic day. Andrew Mather, thank you for joining me on the Paddock it's Show. It's been a pleasure. Well, it's been a pleasure. Uh, you know, you've done a, it's great to have you on board. Tomorrow morning, the silence will be replaced by 220 of Britain's best kart racers and drivers from all over the world trying to become British Open champion. Don't forget we lose an hour. We're live 10 a.m. It's Easter Sunday. Who is going to hop their way to victory? See you tomorrow.